Hello, my name is Gilbert Villarreal. I'm a chemistry tutor for TSCC and I work for three Office of Student Success. I'm here to demonstrate a short video of stoichiometry problem for y'all's benefit. As we can see here, we have a problem laid out. Two grams of oxygen react with carbon monoxide to produce carbon dioxide gas. How many molecules of carbon monoxide are needed to react with oxygen? So, we have our carbon monoxide that reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide gas. We first need to see if this equation is balanced. We find that we have one carbon on each side and three oxygens on our reactant side and two on our product side. So we need to balance this equation before we begin with the stoichiometry problem. To balance this equation, we put a 2 on the carbon dioxide side, and it rearranges it, the carbons to 2 and the oxygens to 4. To balance it on the reactant side, we put a 2 in the carbon monoxide, and it changes the carbon to 2 and the oxygens to 4. Now we have a balanced equation. So to begin this stoichiometry problem, we start with what's our given. We are given 2 grams of oxygen and what we need to find. What we need to find is molecules of carbon monoxide. So we start with our given. I use a form of dimensional analysis, the square box method. We have two grams of oxygen. So to cancel this out, we, we need to convert this, ox this grams of oxygen into moles of oxygen. We use the molecular weight to convert from grams to moles. We have oxygen weighs 16 grams, but since we have two of them, we have 32 grams of oxygen. That equals one mole of oxygen. Now we do a mole to mole conversion. We see here in this equation that we have one mole of oxygen. And we have two moles of carbon monoxide. So as we cancel the dimensional analysis out, grams of oxygen cancel out with grams of oxygen, moles of oxygen cancel out with moles of oxygen, and we're left with moles of carbon monoxide. But we're looking to find molecules of carbon monoxide. So we convert moles to molecules using Avogadro's number. One mole of carbon monoxide is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power molecules of carbon monoxide. So this form of dimensional analysis lays out our full, pro our full stoichiometry problem. Our moles of carbon monoxide cancel out with our moles of carbon monoxide and we're left with our molecules of carbon monoxide which is what we were looking to find. We simply just multiply the top and divide it by the bottom to give us our answer of 6.691 times 10 to the 22nd power molecules of carbon monoxide are needed to react with oxygen to, to produce carbon dioxide gas. Well, I hope this video clarifies any questions y'all had with stoichiometry. My name is Gilbert Villarreal, and I would like to thank the Office of Student Exercise for allowing me to produce this video.